Hi, this is Kevin Blanche. Today I'm going to talk about taxes and this whole tax debate we've got going on in this country and how pissed off it's fucking got me. Look, you got all these men and women who bled and died for this country for fucking hundreds of years, including my father. He was nuked in Nevada test site, died later of leukemia. Huh. All the millions and millions and millions of fucking people who fucking died for this country. And over the last decade, let's talk about this. Bush lowers the fucking taxes on the wealthy. Okay? Now the wealthy, the neocons, screaming, we don't want to raise fucking taxes. Yet, these young men and women over there, giving their lives, coming home with blown limbs off. I mean, they've bled a fucking enough. They gave a fucking enough. Yet the wealth in this country doesn't want to fucking pay. You non-patriotic motherfuckers, you make me physically fucking sick. After World War II, the wealth tax rate in this country was 95% because they were happy to pay. They were so happy for what these soldiers did for them and saved their freaking country. They're like, hey, let's pay them back. Let's get this cleaned up. Let's take care of this fucking debt and move on. These non-patriotic motherfuckers don't want to pay five fucking cents. They're sick. It's a sick greed. Look, this whole fucking thing with not paying taxes started with Ronald fucking Reagan. That's a fact. All you Ronald Reagan lovers, let's get real. You know, I have a saying. Passionate arguments get results. Cordial conversations are dangerous. So, you, you know, look, when you rant and rave and carry on about something, if you've got good subject matter, be passionate about it. But understand what you're talking about. You know, you see so many part, people that get out in the freaking media and these movements now just rant and rave and scream. I ain't got a problem with that if they're educated what their fucking subject matter is. They don't know what the fuck to talk about just rant and rave and scream. That's where fucking racism, hatred, and all that kind of shit is bred from. It empowers people like that who just fucking want us fucking hate. We don't need that. Look. These people, are, these soldiers came home, were blown off. There's, there's tens of thousands of amputees that came from Iraq and Afghanistan. Look, they did their part. The wealth in this country needs to do their fucking part. This fucking ratting and rave, we can't fucking rave. Please, we're in a fucking ditch. We're in the fucking dead out the fucking yin yang. Millionaires, it ain't gonna hurt you to pay a little fucking more. Please, please. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's fucking sickening what's fucking going on. You know, that fucking Reagan, when he took office, there was a $1.3 billion deficit. That's it, which is pretty well nothing. He started this, lower taxes, lower taxes, lower taxes, fuck taxes, fuck taxes. That's where this shit bred from. In the whole conservative movement, it's bred from. They've heard it for 30 years as a Republican, you hate fucking paying taxes. Well, that's where that started. Well, he ran the fucking deficit to the fucking stratosphere. His old fucking joke was, when they asked me, do you want any fucking uh, B2s? He says, I thought they were talking about vitamins. Give me a couple dozen of them. You know, he ran it into the stratosphere and then went and gets elected. We pay it down. Well, it was technology. Technology paid it down. So, there's the whole gist of the conversation. Right here in this shot that I'm shooting, you're wondering where it's at. This is in Ogden, Utah. This is on the River Parkway. In fact, this park right here, remember the movie uh, Sandlot? It was filmed right here. This is where Sandlot was filmed. I've said it for... I've said it for years and years and years. There's nothing more beautiful than Ogden, Utah in September. Utah's spectacular in September. You know, we have a really weak economy. We have a lot of problems here. We have a mass suicide rate. We have a mass heroin freaking problem. We have, are extremely impoverished here. But we live in this incredibly beautiful setting. Look, this whole tax fucking shishu, quit being a bunch of crybaby, baby boomer, big mouth motherfuckers, and let's think about this fucking thing. We went and spent all this money in war. I think it's 60 or 7% of every tax dollar spent in this country goes to the United States military. Okay, if that's what we're going to do and that's where we're going to go, let's fucking pay for it. Look, the wealth after World War II fucking stepped up to the fucking plate. The wealth in this fucking country needs to step up to the plate. We're fucking hurting. We're in fucking poverty. And this 41 fucking seat fucking Republican fucking minority who's fucking dug in their fucking hills and blocked every fucking thing, they were fucking put in office. Look, the Constitution set up 60, 40 for a reason for a reason, to push them to compromise. We've rarely had 60 fucking 40 fucking majorities in the history of this country. Never ever has a minority party fucking completely fucking block every single piece of legislative thing. You know, this whole philosophy, if fucking, you know, I win, you fail, and then the country all fails, is fucking bullshit. It is total fucking bullshit. 
You know, no wonder the Tea Party candidates are winning. Republican fucking people know this. They're voting these fucking Republicans fucking out because they fucked them. They sent them to fuck Washington to legislate, dig this fucking deficit out, and they won't do it. They just, no, 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 no. Kevin Blanche, September 2010.